Hello everyone, welcome to our story time today. Today we have got a story about a teddy bear who gets into trouble. This book is called Home Before Dark. It's all about a teddy bear's adventure trying to get a home. But we're going to have to find out what actually happens, why he needs to get home and how he does it. This is written by Ian Beck and it's called Home Before Dark. I hope you enjoy it. Home Before Dark Teddy was sitting alone on the stairs. Lily and her mum were getting ready to go out. Wait, said Lily. We can't go yet. We nearly forgot Teddy. Poor old thing. He thought he was left behind. Oh, it's windy, said mum. I'm glad we're wrapped up warm. Teddy likes going to the park, said Lily. They stayed a long time in the park. They played on the swings and they fed the ducks. It's getting late, said mum, and I think it might rain. Come on, we must get home before dark. Lily was so tired. <sighs> she fell asleep. She cuddled Teddy, but... <gasps> oh no, poor Teddy. Lily dropped him. And so Mum and Lily set off home without Teddy. Teddy was left all alone. He walked up to the dark iron railings and he pushed and he squeezed and squashed up his tummy until he was through. But out on the pavement, he felt very small. He was very careful. He crossed at the crossing and remembered to look both ways. Oh dear, a big car splashed him all over. On the pavement, he was kicked and jostled and bashed and bumped by all the boots and shoes and bags and shopping. Then it began to rain and the rain came down harder and harder. Teddy had to shelter by a dustbin. A great big hairy dog came and sniffed at him. Teddy thought that he would never see Lily again. I must get home before dark. That's when Lily needs me most. So he bravely set off up the hill against the wind and the rain. It was a very, very, very steep hill. By the time he reached the top, it was nearly dark. And it was a very, very, very strong wind. Whoosh! went the wind. Head over heels, he tumbled down and over, over and down, all the way to his house. He tried to tap at the door with his cold, wet paws, but no one could hear him. And so, out in the dark, he waited and waited and waited until a friendly voice said, You poor old bear, have they forgotten you? Never mind, I know what to do. And so the paper boy delivered Teddy through the letterbox into the warmth and safety of the buggy seat. At bedtime, Lily said, Where's Teddy? I can't go to bed without him. Ah, oh, here he is. You have an easy life, don't you, Teddy? Good night, Lily. Kiss, kiss. And good night, Teddy. Sleep tight. 
But we know what really happened, don't we? The end. This was home before dark. I'm so glad that bear got home. Hope you enjoyed the story.